Today's agenda is super sick. Cannot wait to do this one. Something I've been waiting to do for a little while. So we have our Planet Audio 10 inch CarPlay screen. So this is gonna be sick. It matches with the, uh, the amp and the subs that are already with the truck. We've got the old Pioneer unit there. We uh, got this old guy here and we're gonna be trading him out for our screen here. Boom, so you can see the difference in what we're gonna be dealing with here. So this is gonna go just like that. It has its own little adapter here and it kind of plugs in. You can move it up and down, left and right. So excited to get that put in there. So you guys already know the deal. We're gonna get the old one out. We're gonna hook up the new one. Oh, and this one also came with a backup camera that we have to put on the roll pan. Super stoked. I also got these white LED dash lights for behind the bezel here. It'll actually be great because the one that shows me my battery voltage is actually out. It's actually dark right there. So I know that the stock color is like a teal color and I thought about getting that, but I want it to be as bright as possible. I want it to feel as new as possible as well too. All the new trucks, they all have white. This is what we got. It's gonna be nice and bright and definitely a nice much needed upgrade for that. Got the gauge cluster out. I wired up the radio, got the radio finally working. I mean, it took it took quite a while to get everything sourced out and everything, but I finally got it working. Got the phone hooked up to it. It works great. The speaker, speakers work good, except for that one. That one's not working. So we're gonna have to change those out. But right now I'm in the process of changing out these bulbs. I just got this one out. Looks like I might be missing one here. So that's no bueno. Hell yeah, check it out. And BRP come clutch. Bam, look at that long thing. Still a little bit left under there. <laughs> what we have here is a four inch downpipe, five inch exhaust. This is the aluminized. I think this one shipped to my door was like 600 bucks from Thoroughbred Diesel, so not too bad. I chose this one over the Diamond Eye for a couple of reasons. The number one reason was because of the hooks that it comes with. Uh, the Diamond Eye, I've gotten the Diamond Eye before and they're just not as good quality as this. Also, they have the welded on exhaust hanger in that one section, but these exhaust hangers are, are these hangers in general are just a lot better. Also with these, the bands, so the exhaust clamps, you can tell with these, these clamps are a lot better than the U-bolt clamps. Um, because they, these uh, really just kind of do a even squeeze around the whole thing instead of just kind of crimping it and bending the metal. All in all, super stoked about it. I got it a couple of days ago. It actually got here very, very fast. There's a little bit of issues like this little tiny thing has been so like little tiny things but all in all it's in really good shape it looks really clean i'm super stoked to be able to put it on i even thought about cleaning it up real nice once i have it under there and hitting it with a high temp clear coat just to see if maybe it would preserve it a little bit but down here in florida we don't really have any salt or anything so uh i'm probably gonna i'm probably gonna end up just leaving it you know this isn't a show truck so it's not that big of a deal but love the five inch exhaust can't wait to put the set that this thing on there it's gonna sound so good when i put the five inch on my seven three it totally changed the way that it sounded and everything. Super stoked about that. Also wanted to show you guys the tip that I got for it. So I'm not going to do anything crazy like an axle dump or a big old 10 inch tip. But I got the tour bus dump truck style tip here. So this is like the ones that they have on the Prevos, which is like a big tour bus. But this is a six inch, uh, six inch tip. You got the five inch slip on right there. So that's going to come out and... That's gonna come out right behind the back wheel just like that big old fat chrome tip. It's super dope, I love it. Can't wait to put it on. It's nice and subtle, but it's like big enough that you def it definitely catches your attention. Uh, but it's also a very clean, subtle tip, you know, compared to a big old 10 inch, five gallon bucket on there. I got these smaller LED. Um, these are the white LED lights. So they go into all these little slots here. I think there's one right here. So this is the one extra. Now these are for the bigger ones. Now all these are for your like warning lights and wiper lights and all that stuff. And then this one here, these guys here, are actually for all the big spots like for your speedometer and stuff like that your gauges so these are white and these uh, little ones are white too so they um they should be nice and bright i hooked up the other ones and those are definitely nice and bright so we'll put these in and we'll see how it looks You want 
just enough to catch that metal on the metal right there. So I put a like three coats of clear coat on this aluminum rear end differential cover. I just wanted to put a clear coat on it because it is aluminum and it is a, de a decently polished finish. It definitely was not the best. You can see, obviously you can actually see some of my runs here. But look at the pock marks and the pitting. And you know, it wasn't really clean that well. So it's not too bad, but I think it was only like 60 bucks, 70 bucks. So you can't beat it. Anyways, I just wanted to show you. I'm using this good old um, restorer here and I did this side. Look how clean and fresh that is. And I haven't even like fully wiped it, like buffed it off. But look at the side I haven't done. All stock, all dirty and nasty. And look at that, boom. It really looks like a, a factory finish. Make sure that you're very careful with the needles. You know, you definitely don't want to break those or anything. I, I hold them in place whenever I'm wiping around it. And then, um, you know, sometimes I'll kind of come in and, and hold the needle in place and then use my other hand and wipe all in there. But Got it all put back together. It looks beautiful. The needles are nice and bright and orange again. Everything is black. Very, very clean. Look at that, you get a better angle at it now. But you can really get a real appreciation for how clean that thing is. Look at that, beautiful in there. Alrighty, so on these things here on this SMB box, uh, what I did was I degreased it completely and then I just lightly scuffed it with some, I don't know, 300 grit or something. Uh, just a light scuff on there, you can't even really tell too much, but the whole thing is really chewed up. It's really chipped up and everything, so. One thing I'm going to do is, uh, now that I sprayed it, uh, scrubbed it, degreased it, sanded it, and then I just hit it with some acetone, and I've got the satin black. We're going to hit it, make it look brand new. I already did the, the glass top over there. You guys can see. So, we've got that sitting over there, and that is drying, so that has a nice clear coat on it. It was all scuffed up and messed up too, so it didn't come out the best, but it does look a lot better. So, I'm going to go ahead and start spraying this, make it look nice and black, that way it can dry. Batteries are dead. This one, 721. This one's not even the right size. It's tiny. And this one is 22. So left the key on overnight and killed the batteries. Not intentionally, but I knew I was gonna need an upgrade anyways. So we're gonna start off by pulling these guys out of there. see what I was dealing with here two different sizes we got a 56 3 596 725 so this is definitely what we want we want the 850 cold cold cranking amps so this is gonna be the right one what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get probably gonna get some Everstart just because you know we don't really deal with cold weather down here the trucks not gonna really you know go through that much abuse so they're the most <clears throat> they're the most affordable these are probably decent they might last a little bit longer but we're going to change them out that way we have some nice new ones because in ray's garage we like to do everything as right as possible
So right now I'm in the process of removing this, uh, the block heater situation. Oh, there it is. So I'm in the process of removing that guy right there. I already took the cables off of the, uh, off of the block heater here already gone and these are the power wires here so i just have these 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 uh power wires going down to it and then it's got two bolts that are mounting the whole thing so i'm about to pull that out of there all right got that thing out of there you can see all the connections and stuff on it so one goes to the block heater and one goes to the um heater on the intake so i cut i cut out the the grate on the on the intake so that's gone so what I did was I pulled out the boot. I'm gonna paint the block and paint that block. And then I also have the intake piping, the boost pipe over here. Someone has already painted it black, but it has seen better days. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to kind of scuff it up, smooth it out as best as I can, because it is kind of rough. You don't really see it too much, so I'm not gonna go crazy with it, but I am gonna clean it up a little bit with the wire wheel probably sand it up make it nice and smooth hit it with a fresh coat of paint this is a battery box from one side the driver's side has like a vacuum or something on the bottom of it so i don't want to mess with it i'm just going to go ahead and, and scrub it out and clean it look at our smb intake now this paint is pretty much dry to the touch yeah it's already dry so this is great i mean you can see the shine this is that this is why i love the satin black because it gives it like a fresh armor all finish now i know the lighting is kind of making it look like it's kind of glossy and stuff but you'll see when i put it all together and put it in there it'll look like it's it's brand new so can't wait to uh can't wait to do that it came out fairly decent there's a little bit of like weird orange peel in it but that's kind of how this plastic is as well so if you ask me it looks way better than it did so this is gonna look really nice. I've got the clear window over there drying, or it's already dry probably, and that looks night and day. So we're gonna do the same thing to the heater block and the boost pipe over there. All right, got these curing. They are gonna sit in the fan draft here uh, overnight, and we're not even gonna really need them for another day or two. And then I just got done doing the <clears throat> heater block here. And uh, what I did was I hit it with some primer first. Well, I sanded it down. It came out decent. So, plus, you can't really see it. I just wanted it to somewhat match the intake horn. Now, I know this isn't high gloss, but that's okay. I'm just going to leave it as it is with the satin. I think that'll be good enough. On this side, there was a, uh, so, like some bolts right there. And what I did was I just filled them with JB Weld. And then I, I just painted over them. So that's what I did with those. And then this side here, oh, and then this side here, I just left them as it is. I, I have the things that are that I cut off. I kind of just bent them up in there. I should fill it up with JB Weld. That way it's all solid, which I might do. It's nice and slick, and it's going to match really well. Two brand new batteries. Definitely love that. Expensive, but definitely worth it. And I got one, the one battery box out i got it all painted it's looking good still have to paint the pipe over here the smb and everything is looking prime looking brand new look at that holy smokes and then also i took this thing and i degreased it real well this thing was obviously pitch black it was super nasty super gross but now mm, smells like simple green it's nice and clean you can see actually see daylight through it now if you can see that so that's actually really nice i just need to get some uh, spray oil so i can spray it i mean it's literally all collapsed from being so dirty anyways now i wanted to show you guys last night i was helping my buddy out working on his car and while he was doing that i was scrubbing everything over here and i scrubbed everything all this in here all this is ready for paint i need to take this screw out and uh I need to figure out what I'm going to do with this rock light here. I thought about saving this rock light, but I'm not sure. So all this under here is ready for paint. Obviously, some of it needs to be a little bit wire wheeled, like some of that minor rust and whatnot. But all in all, it looks really good. You can see how clean it is here compared to down in there. Kind of like where I stopped, you can tell. And it's all dirty down through there. So, And then I also have this. So you can see I've already scuffed all this. It's all been real clean. The wires are nice and clean and all up in there it was all caked with oil and exhaust and everything it was so nasty all up in there so you can see all of this is freshly cleaned it's all ready for paint so this whole section will get painted i am going to do this section because we're going to put the roll pin on there so all this is going to get fresh satin black and then also on this side here you can see all up underneath here i got all the frame and everything nice and clean like i said there's some areas where we have some spotty rust so we'll have to mess with that a little bit. Maybe hit it with some rust reformer. Alrighty, now 
We're gonna go ahead and start to clean this out. We're gonna spray all this, get this nice and clean, kind of spray all this, get this as clean as possible. And we'll put the new battery in and we'll do that side. Got everything nice and clean. I got under here. I scrubbed all the wires, scrubbed the frame. Everything is nice and clean. You can see it's starting to dry. So what I did was I scrubbed it with a red Scotch-Brite. So that way it's nice and coarse and it scuffed everything up while I was cleaning it at the same time. So technically everything is nice and ready for paint. All this little bit of rust that you see is very topical, very minimal. So I'm just gonna spray some rust reformer on that stuff and just call it a day. Now, up here you might, you might be able to tell the difference here. So I cleaned all the cables off. See all the wires over here again. Those are all those are all nice and clean. Brake reservoir is nice and clean. Scrubbed out everything as good as I could. Got this all nice and clean through here now. And uh, I scrubbed everything off in here, the computer, everything like that, the diode. And um, so what I'm doing now is I'm just waiting for it to dry. And then I'm gonna use that trim restore on all the hoses and all the wires, give them that nice, vibrant, wet factory look. And then we should be good. I scrubbed out all in here. All this was all nasty and everything. I thought about spraying this and I might, I'm still debating on it. I might just spray it black. That way it's protected. That's all that in there. And and then in here, uh, by the way, I did not use the red scotch right inside the engine bay. But look, you can see here. So all that's been nice and cleaned out. So we're just waiting for it to dry. And then we'll come in here and we'll do from the top hat over. So basically just the frame itself and then back in here a little bit. And, uh, and then I've got the, the fender liners laying over there that we still have to do as well. Back there, it was really nasty. And behind where the output shaft is back to about the axle area, it's really black and nasty. So that's gonna take a little bit of extra time. I'm just gonna get under there with the pressure washer and the pump sprayer with the degreaser. And I got a brush. I'm just gonna brush it all out of there. And underneath the cab is all nice and clean. So this right here, I painted this, this pipe. So the pipe looks nice and fresh now. You can't even really see it, so I didn't go over the top on prep or anything, just because it's all buried up underneath there. So I figured I'd just let it do it, do what it does. Put like literally a, one thick coat on there and that was it. This, I put two coats on it, even though you're not really gonna be able to see too much of it, but man, look at how that thing came out. That thing came out basically brand new, huh? Look at that. Love that satin black for that factory finish. Just got done hitting this with some rust reformer and then I hit it with the black. Just, just the fender itself, because it's going to be covered by the battery box and the SMB intake. So I didn't want to mess with the factory color too much. But uh, yeah, it looks much better now than what it did, that's for sure. So now what I'm going to do is I've got my brush and I've got my trim restore right here. And I'm going to brush the trim restore all over the hoses and the plastic. <laughs> and clean you can see everything is nice and shiny now nice and wet looking this is actually dry it just looks like it's wet but it's nice and moist you guys can really see how good of a, a job it does so I did pretty much everything and I did all the battery cables and everything I even did the boot down there Everything has been uh, moisturized. I did the heater hoses and whatnot, and the dipsticks. Yeah, everything has been nicely wiped down, nice and fresh, nice and clean. <music> high heat glossy clear so we're gonna see how it goes
drying, you can see, got a little bit of a haze to it, right? I put three nice coats on there. So it's not gonna be perfectly clear, but from a distance, you can't really tell that it has a clear coat on it. You just have to make sure you put a nice thick coat on there. That way there's hardly any real like orange peel or pock marks. I cleaned it very well with acetone as well. So this is what you get. I also did the inside. I acetone the inside and I sprayed this. That way, whenever you go to pressure wash it, in theory, it should come pretty clean, but this is the stuff here. So ceramic coating right here. 2000 degrees so gas and oil resistance so it's you know they show a picture of headers and stuff right there which would be i almost put this stuff on my headers on the last truck and honestly i should have but oh well now i got this i just thought that this would keep it nice and clean from the soot and all that so um over time these chrome tips they tend to to break down and degrade and get rusty and whatnot, especially down here in Florida with the salt water, especially if I pull a boat or something with this. Uh, I want it to be as protected as possible. So the whole thing's clear coated, three heavy thick coats. There's no runs or anything. It actually went on very nice. The first coat actually had to go on very thin. The second and the third one were pretty thick. So I'm stoked with it. Came out great. Now I have the full exhaust system. So I just got done wiping it down with acetone. It is completely fresh. I got the clamp sitting over here, wiped those. I've got the hangers over here, I wiped those. Cause all this stuff, uh, well, at least the hangers will start to rust and, and degrade. The clamps and stuff, I, th I would assume as well too. So all the fingerprints and all the grease and everything is off of them, thoroughly cleaned with the acetone. And now I am going to go ahead and I wanna put three coats on this as well. Same thing that we did with the tip. then next morning everything is nice and dry look at that nice and clear coat on there fingers are already dirty i mean this thing is super wet super glossy looking i mean look at that looks really really good all of our hangers down here got that nice wet glossy ceramic coating on there super excited about it our tip came out pretty decent you can see you know so from far away it still looks like it's chrome it's got a little bit of a, a little bit of a dullness to it but that's okay that's what happens when you when you put clear coat over top of chrome so man i'm telling you it's so crazy how these welds just came out so wet looking i mean that just looks so good it's not quite like a clear coat right it, it does feel like a different thing because it is ceramic so it does feel a little bit different but at the end of the day it is technically a clear coat so you can really see that really got in there really well so all this has been coated everything is dry to the touch the only deal is now is that we're about to get a really bad thunderstorm uh, it's been brewing for the last couple of days and outside it's super windy it's super muggy and hot very humid so it's going to be a torrential downpour today also i have a guy coming looking at the pressure washing trailer today hopefully that will be gone by the end of the day today i'm really hoping it is i've got it priced fair fairly well all in all super stoked about it great progress is being made it feels like we're kind of wrapping up on the truck slowly but surely boost pipe over here is dried and my smb box over here is nice and dry you can see looking nice and fresh and minty and i also wanted to show you guys i got some some seat covers now i was gonna go with leather i was gonna get the leather pull down over and whatnot but i uh you know being down here in florida it's very hot you know sitting on hot leather seats is, is miserable and also these seats are are just so gone um I, I just didn't really feel like messing with them or throwing you know four or five hundred bucks at them so i just got these these uh this little seat cover kit here this is by dickies it's 
for a single uh, a single style seat and um, I'm just gonna cut a slit for the, the seat belt itself. And I've got this one over here. So it came in a three piece set. It's got both of the captain's chairs. It has the nice durable cloth on it. And then it's, uh, it's kind of got like the stretching material on the back to kind of wrap around the seat. And then I've got one for the back bench because the, this just wraps around the back bench, but the back bench, I tried cleaning it yesterday, messing with it, and believe it or not, this has been completely degreased and brushed, and it's just, it's so gone. I mean, everything on it, there's paint, uh, there's a couple of tears, little tiny ones. So I've got that black cover, plus I've got the two dogs, so the dogs are gonna be in and out of there whenever we go to the beach or something. So I got the black cover for that and for both of the, the captain's chairs. And I think that it's gonna look really good. And it kind of goes with the theme of the truck with the truck being white and black, it only fits. Kind of bummed out about it a little bit. I wanted to leave it as, as original as possible, but technically it is original and it's unbothered. I'm not even gonna mess with the leather or anything. I am gonna scrub the seat just to kind of make the smell go away a little bit. They don't really smell or anything, but I just wanna scrub them just so I, I know that they're done. And then uh, we also need to work on the center column here and scrub this and Okay, all right, update. Got the battery tray in, got them bolted down, got the batteries in there. The, I don't have the tie downs for the batteries. I've bought in one set, but they were wrong. They wouldn't fit. They were like a universal Chinese set. Then I also bought one that said they would fit. It was like the plastic block, but definitely not the right ones for this. So I have to return those and eventually grab the right one. But I got everything on here. Everything's bolted down in here tight as possible. Um, you know, everything is as clean as possible, routed the right way. Uh, all my grounds are clean. I cleaned the ground down there on the block. I got my wires cleaned up and routed around. Nothing's quite hooked up yet, but you guys can see I switched um, the terminals, except for this one. This was the one terminal that I didn't switch only because I don't have a cap for this part here. Uh, this is gonna have to do for now, but it's definitely on there. It's nice and smashed. It's definitely very, very tight. Nothing's going anywhere. Next project is I'm gonna put the SMB airbox in. That way we can start to get this buttoned up in here. Me in here testing it on a five gallon bucket but you can see the dash lights they look good um i ordered the white ones i swear it's supposed to be white but uh yeah it looks good now with i guess uh it rides good everything's put together it sounds good the, the, it's definitely whistling a lot more that's for sure we're getting ready to go here definitely whistles a, a little bit more i would definitely say
took it for a first ride and I left my tailgate, my hitch, my, my roll pan and my scotch bright back here so i only went around the block so it was what it was plus i didn't have my tag on the truck so thank god i didn't get pulled or anything but i don't really like do anything stupid when i drive either so i just wanted to show you guys i was driving on the five gallon bucket here but look at the lights ready not bad right yeah not bad got the power steering line done so the SMB was in there and Amtonia, it is crazy how much different it sounds with this intake on there. You can actually really hear it right here. It's like bub, 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 bub. You can really hear it. Started so well with these brand new batteries and everything cleaned and everything done the right way. It started very well. Elbow works great. Definitely sounds like it whistles louder. Between putting the intake on and then putting this, this elbow on, it, uh, I mean, I know this is already on there, but I've been driving it without that, not driving it, but anytime I've taken it around, um, testing it out has been without that on. So it really whistles a lot better now. And uh, overall, really satisfied with it. Got the temp, power steering line is not leaking. So now we have two power steering lines that are brand new. Everything's good down there. And yeah, so super stoked about it. Everything is uh, holding up, staying good no leaks or anything so i do think i got some more air in the in the steering system whenever i change that hose so i do have to jack it up and take care of that but it is in a new position now so can't beat that huh it's actually sitting in front of the house instead of in the back by the shop and the ac is super cold but yeah you can see that thing is looking much better now yeah yeah Give it a whirl. Damn. Hell yeah. Love it. All right, there she goes. Off to her new home. Adios, trailer. All right, so just got done cleaning up and degreasing the fender liners here. And this one is uh, completely dry, it's completely ready. I just need to wipe it down with acetone. This one I've already hit with acetone and I've already got the first two coats of paint. So I put the tack coat down first, it just to see how it would go, make sure I degreased it very well. I wiped it down with acetone very well as well, but first coat went down very well, let it dry for 10, 15, came back, hit it with the second coat. So now we can see what we've got here. So right now I can see some runs from prior things in the past, you know, because that's running up that way. And I've only had it this way this whole time because this is the best way to have it, to paint it. So I'm gonna get ready to put down the third coat and hopefully that should be the last coat. It is kind of patchy right now, but I'm gonna go kind of thick with this coat and have it nice and even when we're done. Bam, just like that. So it's the next day and we have success on these fender liners. Man, they came out great. They're a little bit shiny. I ended up putting on like several coats. So it ended up coming out a little bit shinier than I wanted. Like this right here is like damn near gloss black, which is crazy. That's just an area that ended up getting a little bit more than everything else. But wow, they look really, really good. Super stoked about it. I did do the backside too, but just one quick little coat just to kind of even it up. You can see I missed a little bit there, but look at that though. Man, nice and shiny. 